Always great chatting with my next guest. Jordan Williams is going to be back in action against Ian Gary at UFC 268 on November 6th in New York. First off, congratulations on getting on this card, man. This is a milestone for a lot of fighters to be able to fight at Madison Square Garden. Just tell me your excitement level when you found out you'd be on this mega card for UFC 268. I mean, come on, man. My nickname is Boye. And we all know Ali fought there, so Ali, boy, hey, that wasn't a fight. That was, <laughs> but that was a rumble and jumble. But still, it feels honored. And I'm humbled to be part of a, a group of athletes. And I mean, athletes compete there all the time, but fighters, a lot, not a lot of fighting events have me there. And when it does, it's a spectacular event. And I'm just, I'm just humbled and honored to be part of that, you know that visual for me. Was this the right amount of time off in between fights as well? I mean, obviously, I'm sure if they told you you're fighting on the New York card, you're like, yeah, I'll wait till, you know, that that works out. But was this was this ideally when you were looking to fight again? Uh, you know what? I was I, ideally, I was, I was fighting, planning the fighting whenever I was uh, mentally, or mentally, yeah, and uh, physically recovered from the last fight. And then, uh, if you can get the in there within a couple of months, and get the and get the flow rolling. Why? Uh, why not? You know. So like, I pictured myself being um, ready mentally and physically before the fight, and I uh, and I am. And you know, it just takes a little guidance from my coaches to reinsure my ability. And I'm 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 all heads forward. I'm all a go for. You mentioned it there. I know tough fight against Mickey Gall. What did you sort of take away the most from that performance that you're bringing into this fight? sit down on my punches don't lean like a mother effort like you know i'm just like i i, I looked at my last two fights and there's a photo that they got of me from me fighting uh Nassadine and me fighting mickey in both of those fights i was leaning or both those pictures i was leaning on my punches so i need to settle down find my find my reach and my distance uh more through sitting and not through uh, leaning um and also um, just being more organized, you know, just, uh, that was, that was a fight where I think the whole world, myself, or not the whole world, most people were expecting me the way I expected that too, and I just didn't respect him enough, and I was leaning, and I needed to, uh, execute my game plan. So that's what we've been doing in this training camp, is locating our game plan, and make sure we, we we keep on it. You find out you're fighting Ian Gary. Did you know much about him before taking this fight? Obviously, there's a lot of hype with him coming over from Cage Warriors. I honestly, I'm sorry. I don't mean to defend anyone, but I haven't heard his name before. You know, um, you know, he's he's a young uh, prospect, and uh, yeah, you're like you can't. There's a lot of hype behind him, and but you know, it's just like I don't think he's really fought that hard of opponents. You know, I mean, I'm seeing them. I'm film study when I'm watching him, like. Some guy clipped him and then, like, walked him and then dropped the guard, like, pulled guard on him. So I just, you know, um, I do respect him as a fighter. I think he's highly skilled. He has a nice one, too. He throws that switch kick to the head off, and I'm watching with that game. And, and, you know, uh, and, there's a, and um, he likes, he's very good. He throws in he, his wrestling. I was in his wrestling. Like, um, so it's, uh, it's going to be, uh, like, He's a uh, an educated fighter for sure, but he's young and he hasn't fought the competition that I fought. I mean, shoot, I've been fighting UFC fighters before we were in the UFC. before I was in the UFC. I fought like people like Dwight Grant, uh, uh, Rodrigo Vargas, uh, like I, I have names, uh, Max Griffin, and I have wins against some of the names. It's just like I fought against uh, a hard competition my whole career and I'm just uh I'm excited to be that hard competition for him so then you know uh, he's a hype train yes but you know what he's swimming with sharks now mentioning the optics of this fight do you feel like in some ways you're kind of being brought in to lose I, I mean obviously we, we talked about it there you know cage warriors champ they've been you know high on guys like patty pimblet oh, and yeah. stuff like how does that feel though does that light a fire under you knowing like hey what's going on here or do you sort of look at this as an opportunity to really shut some haters up you know Hey, it's both, man. If you got, if, you, if you're gonna reap the the benefits from both sides of that coin, you gotta allow that both sides of that coin are being shined. Like you know, yes, I understand that. Um, 
I might be brought. I'm more like more than likely being the brought in to lose. I just lost my last fight, and now I get the final Madison Square Garden. Everyone's saying congratulations, your final Madison Square Garden. Madison Square Garden. But I'm like, I'm thinking, I just lost my last fight. There's a hype train. I know who I am in this fight. I and I and I've earned this position by losing my last two. So as a fighter, as a businessman, you'd be dumb to think that you're not. Like, why would they be promoting me if I'm on, if technically I'm on my way out in their eyes? In my eyes, I'm on my way out. But so, well, like you said, the game, man, I, I'm, I'm here. To sh- this is the greatest opportunity to shut some haters up. All those haters that are hate on me from this fight, they've been hating on the other fights, messaging, whatever, commenting, whatever. So it's like, I, I know it's there. So this is, like you said, again, to finish what you said, like a great way to shut them all up and, and shut up the, the darkest depths of my mind. Very well said. Uh, Factory X, great camp. Who are you mainly working with for this one as far as training partners, uh, helping you get ready for this fight? Oh, my man, Dustin Jacoby. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, he's uh, he's on his second win in the UFC. He's doing really great. He's coming off a, you know, big knockout. He got finished over Dar- uh, Darren Stewart. And he's 6'4", you know, top competitor UFC athlete. Told him how my opponent works, and he's been doing it. And I... I I can't thank Dustin enough for doing this, uh, pulling me aside and having just like little like words of encouragement and just like reminders and like yeah, I brought, I'm, brought, I'm bringing him into my corner, but he's also been cornering me through training camp. So thank you, Dustin. And uh, so I've been getting a lot more with him. Uh, Basel has a fight coming up uh, from our team. I've been doing some work uh, with Cody, Cody Brundage. He just had the UFC fight not so long ago, and. Uh, Who's the other main guy? Oh, Josh Framp. He has a fight tonight. Let's go, Josh. Get that knockout tonight. Or tomorrow. He's, uh, you know, Josh Framp. Again, long, lengthy, uh, precision striker. Uh, been getting my work. That's great. Day. And uh, Dustin, a great golfer, too, as he brought you out on the range at all. He has not brought me to the range yet, but we are playing. He's been asking me. I need to get a set of clubs. Or I can rent one, but Dustin is, he like, man, he gets on that golf talk. And... and I'm lucky that he he's got a he's a good hunter too. He likes to hunt and like so I'm thankful that he moved around his moose hunting trip to come and cornering me. So like, you know, I might have to pay him back with a moose hunting or golf, whatever he prefers. There you go. What a great guy. One of the nicest guys in our industry as well. I gotta mention that with Dustin Jacoby. Um the weight cut, how's that going? Obviously, uh, you know, another fight here at, at 170. Was there anything to learn from your last cut that maybe you're gonna do differently for this one? Or how how how's the cut going ahead of this fight? The weight cut, I mean, the weight cut wasn't a problem. I uh I woke or the night, the day uh Friday or Thursday or you know, the day before Wayne's, that's when usually fighters like to cut their weight. Um, within the last 24 hours, you don't want to be too dehydrated for too long. I was, before that weight cut, I was 178 point something. Um, within an hour that night when we started the weight cut, right after an hour, I was at 170 point, uh, like 170.2. So I got to eat a pound, I drank a pound, and then in the morning, I, uh, I had to lose about like 0. 0.6, 0.8. Lost, got right back in the little sauna. Lost that in like ten minutes, five ten minutes, and then went and weighed in. So the weight cut was actually really, really good. As in terms of my food, excuse me, uh, weight cuts in general, and my first one back to one seventy in like four or five years. So it was, it was the weight cut wasn't an issue. Um, it was my head movement and the fight. Like you know, I just like. He called me with a good punch, and I and Coach Mark and everyone they got it out of my head that this weight cut is a problem. The weight cut's not a problem. I'm a, I'm a professional. We can do it now, and uh, no problems there. I just uh, you know, I the only reason I said that it could have been a weight cut problem is because I had multiple fractures and everything, and just in my face from last fight. And I, and I wasn't sure when I made that post. I wasn't sure. I was like, man, I was really questioning myself, and then. After I got the results of my medical condition, I was like, okay, dude, call me with a good punch. Yeah. <laughs> One, two. Um, weight cut's not a problem. We're doing good. I'm a couple pounds heavier at this point than I was last time, but um, it's it's not weight that I'm worried about. You know, I was I was about like 178 after practice today, so we're, we're solid. There you go. How do you envision the fight playing out on November 6th? You know, I feel... Like, this is going to be a test of heart, test of uh, 
Durance, and I feel like I'm I'm gonna grind I'm gonna grind them out, and I feel me I feel me grinding them out, and uh, taking taking the fight, if I, uh, in the second or third, you know if the if uh, you know I don't like I don't really see the UFC jitters, um, slowing him down too much. His nickname is the future, so he's highly confident in himself. So I feel like. Either it's not going to be there, or he's going to have a great show uh, of act that, that is not going to be there. But, you know, I'm not going to play the UFC jitters on my side. I'm going to go in there, I'm going to push the pace, and uh, I just outwork them. I'm just, I just see myself outworking them. I'm working too hard to, to get outworked. So, Love it. that's how I see it. Got to mention, you got the N64 shirt on. Are you, uh, are you a retro gamer at all? I got, I got to ask, because N64 is one of my favorite systems growing up. Hey, man, the N64 Smash Bros, you know, oh, you know, if you, if you have, you know, if you have a Switch, we can, I don't have, I don't have an N64 on me right now, but I do, I do, like, it does live on through the Switch, you know, you got, you got a tag, you know. We'll I, I, I got to set up that. Uh, I got to set up a tag, but I do have a Nintendo Switch, and I'll tell you what I've been playing a lot of right now is Mario Golf. I'm like obsessed with it. It's so much fun. Have you played it yet? No, I haven't. It's really like, good because the there's like this adventure mode where you can like go through different golf courses and like do different stages, and it's it's fun and it's easy to play. And like you know, I'm a dad. I got two kids, so I don't have to invest too much time in it. So it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun, man. I recommend it. Okay, yeah, I'm a, I'm about to get on that. Shoot, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, you, you already know when we're invited to play that. You and my boy Dustin. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we we got we got to hook that up. But it, you know what else is cool about the Switch? Like you mentioned, is it has the classic games on there. So you know, press of a button, I can go from playing you know Mario Galaxy to you know the old Mario, which is cool for me because I, I like all that old stuff. So yeah, the Switch can't say enough good things about it. I'm a huge fan. So. Yeah, man, it's a blast from the past, but also but made in the future, you know? Exactly. And speaking of the future, Ian Gary is taking on my next guest here, Jordan Williams. Uh, we're looking forward to it. UFC 268, November 6th. Jordan, always appreciate the time. And anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media, I'll give you the last word. All right. Well, James, we'll, we'll obviously thank you for letting me, you know, spit my spiel. Um, I got to thank Coach Mark, you know, for guiding me into, you know, confidence and um, just guidance into this next fight to where I feel like I'm going to walk away with this one. Huge shout out to uh, Coach Jordan to Tony. That's my guy right there. He's my, we've been doing, I've been doing the most one on one time with uh, Coach Jordan and I can't value his timing up. Dustin, obviously, we're coming in and just making this training camp feel like as quality as a training camp. I mean, this is my second training camp with uh, Factory X, but I really feel like the quality and like um, the attention that I've been getting from Dustin is like just, and uh, Jordan's just uh, second to none. And I really appreciate those two. Huge shout out to Rhythm, Sport, uh, Rhythm Sports Agency, Jay House, Jeremy, um, Parga, and Camp, Mike, and Lance. Oh man, all you guys, I'm forgetting one more more. Good. Bucky. Got you in there. Uh, thank you all for being just a solid team. Give me sponsors. Give me recognition. And uh, congratulations. Congratulations on getting 100 fighters into the UFC and letting me be one of them. I, you know, that's a huge feat, huge accomplishment. And uh, I'm bragging about you. Uh, a huge th shout out to all my uh, training partners uh, at Factory X. A big one to uh, Celine Haga, she's been uh, making sure my cardio is on my point. We've been running together and just making, just doing all those extra niches that that needs to happen. And if I can't, a huge, huge uh, shout out to my lovely girlfriend Katie. Thank you so much for putting up with all my shit and me, and uh, you know, just being there for me. I know the life of a, 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 a significant other of a fighter is a hard one to live, and uh, and like and have your own thoughts like that you're being cared for as, as well. I love you so much, baby. Thank you for uh, putting up with me.